Hello students, today we are going to learn about the internet. Let us first understand what is network. Students, suppose your family plans to go out on a vacation to have some change and make fun. The place that is planned is new and far off. Now, what will your father do to make the journey easy and comfortable? He will certainly look out for a map to get a clear idea of the destination and then make the staying arrangements. Likewise, you must have observed a monitor in a taxi that guides the route to your destination with voice command. That route display is known as map. Do you know something about map? A map is a visual representation of different locations of a country displayed on a flat surface. It also displays the areas connected through network of roads, railway lines or airways. These networks help us in traveling from one place to another so that we can meet our friends and relatives living at far off places. Now can you tell me some other way to interact with your friends and relatives rather than meeting them personally? Yes, it is possible via computer or smartphone. Your computer or smartphone can help you in this task only if it is connected to the respective device at the other end. Just as a road network connects various cities and towns, likewise there exists a network that connects different computers with each other. This network is known as the computer network. Let's find out what is the internet. When the computer networks are joined together, they form a bigger network called internet. Internet connects millions of computers around the world. It has revolutionized the whole world and made computers the most effective communication tools. Internet not only contains huge variety of information but also provides new ways of interacting and connecting with people. Ok students, let us talk about history of internet. In 1969, when men walked on the moon, the U.S. Defense Department sent an advanced research project agency, ARPA, for further research. They designed a network of four computers to exchange and share their data. This network was called ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Later, many universities were allowed to join this network and share the information. This was the beginning of networking of computers which grew bigger day by day and gave birth to Internet, the technology which has radically changed our lives. Earlier, Internet was used by engineers, scientists and computer experts for research purpose. But gradually the network was made accessible to private agencies and general public. People started using it for sending messages and files between any two computers. In India, Internet services started on 15th August 1995 through a government-owned company, VSNL, Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited. Students, let us talk about commonly used internet terms. WWW World Wide Web WWW refers to a network of sites on the internet which contains information in the form of text, pictures, animation and videos. This information can be accessed by people all over the world. Students, do you know? Tim Berners-Lee is the founder of the World Wide Web web page a web page is a digital page which may contain text images videos audios etc home page the first page of a website is called the home page it contains the main information about the access website along with the links to other pages of a website 
URL. To visit your friend's place, you need to know his address. Similarly, to visit any website, you need to know its address. Each website is identified by its unique address which is known as the Uniform Resource Locator URL. The URL of any website is entered in the address bar of a web browser. For example, www.cartoonnetwork.com and discoverychannel.com are the URLs of Cartoon Network and Discovery Channel respectively. ISP ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. An ISP is a company which offers you the use of Internet in exchange for a fee. It provides software, username and password to user in order to get connected to the Internet. Some of the popular Internet Service Providers ISP in India are BSNL, Tata, Airtel, Reliance, Idea, etc. Students know the fact. The first commercial ISP was the Massachusetts based The World founded in Brooklyn in 1989. Students let's know more. ISPs provide two types of connections, dial-up and broadband. In dial-up technology, you have to dial a number of connect to the internet through an existing phone line. Whereas in broadband technology, a computer is continuously connected to the internet through the phone line. It provides high-speed internet access.